Philadelphia. Hey guys, it's Numa Stacker back with you again in what is the last of the series of videos from the ANA in Philadelphia. Perhaps this video should have been the first, but uh, hey, I really wanted to show you some of the coins, I guess, first. But um, if you're thinking about visiting any of the ANA events going forward, uh, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about what you can expect. I've told you before about the um, auctions that they have at these events but there's quite a lot more than that if you've ever been to a business conference it's a little bit like going to an american business conference but without the business so uh, you get all these breakout sessions there's lots of sessions uh, for beginners for intermediate for advanced uh, talks from interesting people and you can attend all of those kind of things free of charge um, going to the event there is one day that it's free to the public otherwise you need to pay a small amount of money to get in or be a member of the ANA uh, all the grading companies uh, are represented at the show so that you can then drop off coins to PCGS, Anax and NGC lots and lots of interesting dealers with different specializations and the room is kind of structured so that each section of the room has uh, a particular purpose and focus so there's a kind of premier expensive us coins element of it there's uh, a section for all the world mints where you can buy coins from the us mint canadian mint uh, panda america uh, and uh, a number of other national mints are represented in that and uh, then you have Kind of the smaller clubs at the back on the right hand side so that uh, if you're a member of a club you can see your local club contact or you can find out more and join a club and uh, there is also a section for world coins as well as facilities for eating there's uh, quite a lot of events for socializing things go on in the evening uh, and i think you meet quite a few interesting contacts at these kind of events uh, if it's something that you're really interested in um, I probably wouldn't have gone just to Philadelphia from London if I hadn't been wanting to go to Florida at the same time. It's quite an expensive proposition to go to one of these events anyway. But um, having been in America anyway, it seemed to make sense to divert, spend a couple of nights in a hotel in Philadelphia and, uh, and, and take a look at what goes on at one of these prime uh, money events. And, uh, and I enjoyed it and I certainly it's the second one I've been to and I certainly would go again if I got the opportunity to. One of the most interesting sessions I went to when I was there was a talk by Bob Evans about the events leading up to the discovery of the SS Central America, the Ship of Gold. And here is uh, their stand and you can see some of the artifacts and gold bars and ingots uh, which were found on the wreck of the Central America. And uh, I found his talk absolutely fascinating, both in terms of the history and about the process of salvage. Here's a couple of coins, uh, some amazing $3 gold pieces that were recovered from the Central America, and they all get presented uh, inside this, this kind of uh, really nice PCGS holder. Um, some of the coins are just in absolutely amazing condition and I think they recently found some California fractionals as well so uh, you get to do interesting things like that which you'd never get to do otherwise so all in all uh, really nice visit um, hopefully I'll go again and let me know what you think